Alrighty, welcome taverners. We are back with the Q&A. Hey, hey. Here we go. Any questions for us? Questions. If you would like to ask us questions, you, you can join the Patreon or where we uh, you write down, we open the question poll for people and they write down their questions and we answer them and put them on display like we have with these questions today. Mm. Feel free to you ask us politely, we'll be happy to oblige. Okay, Joe. The good hosts we are. All right. I want to well, go first. I'll go first for you. Oh. Because okay. this All one right. seems tailor made for you. Okay. Oh. What, what do you think? Of Smash Bros. like games like Rivalry for Nickelodeon uh-huh. All Star Brawl, PlayStation All Star Battle Royale, and Multiverses, to name a few. What do you think of these like games? They're good for three hours of playtime, and that's it. Mm. Okay, because I thought that's you... kind of harsh. I'm sorry. No, no, okay, no, no, so no, let no. me ref- let me ref- let me rephrase that. That's a bit so warm. Nickelodeon All Star Brawl and Multiverses are worth a few a f- three hours of your time. And that's it. Well, oh. apparently two of Nickelodeon All Star Brawl was really good, but I played one, and uh, man, uh, I played that on like a week after its launch, and that was before all of the quality of live stuff they put into it, like yeah. the voice acting. And, yeah. And, oh, apparently the sound effects are still a little bit weird in two as well. Um, but yeah, that that game is better than Multiverses, in my opinion. Multiverses <laughs> just. Wow, what happened to Multiverses? Oh yeah, that's right, it was live service. Oh How yeah, it I was. fucking forget? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that killed it very early on, because it just fizzled out of existence and no one played it anymore, which sucks because it was kind of hyped up. Uh, and yeah. I, I, I definitely had interest in it, but yeah, yeah I sort of don't worry about that. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Now <laughs> I can't, I can't really. I mean, I can give it shit and I can't give it shit at the same time because that game went through some insane dev hell. Um, I had a lot of fun with that game when I was younger. I probably won't do at my age I am at the moment. But in my uh, quote unquote PlayStation fanboy phase, I absolutely loved PlayStation All Stars. Um, I was a filthy good coal mean and just froze people when we used a special attack and killed them. Oh, uh, it had a had an interesting Infamous. concept where you could kill with special attacks, but well, the, then that the, day, the only it, way you could kill. It was the only way you could kill, uh, and it had combo trees and combo strings. But with a game like a Smash Bros. quote unquote like gamer, it just uh, didn't really work in execution. Like, because you could just spam the same combo and get the same special attack charge, and it got kind of repetitive because of that. Aww. And uh, a lot of the moves in that game didn't really have a lot of oop to them, like Smash Bros. So, for example, uh, in PlayStation All Stars, you're Prap the Rapper. And you're like mashing square to do his little like a uh, chop. It's all on the mind mood. You're going and he's going making little slap noises. <laughs> Whereas uh, you go to like uh, fucking Captain Falcon and it's like boom 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 boom. You hit him away. And it's like kaboom. And it's like ah yeah, fucking sent that dude flying. That felt good. It's like there's like more weight behind the moves in yeah. Smash Bros. It, it just feels like a more like a um. How do I say it? Not manufactured. Oh but okay. More yeah. time was put into yeah, it. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, Obviously, it's been through a, a lot more work and it's been uh, refined a lot more. Yeah, it's more refined. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah. Rivals of Etho is interesting, and uh, I don't know if I'm a reliable sort of source for Rivals of Etho. Have you played it? I've played it, but only with mods. Oh wow! Okay. And mods is uh, was really fun because you can do really stupid shit, like just play it as a PNG of Ouija and oh just God. run into people. You can play Ronald McDonald is the most overpowered character, and you can have him in different forms like Golden Ronald McDonald, oh Cosmic Ronald McDonald, where you like press a button and you do like a hundred hit combo in a second, <laughs> then they sake. go to ninety nine percent. So it's a mod uh, game, basically. Yeah, you can play as played. JoJo characters. Oh uh, my god! You you can play as uh, Speed One Breath of the Wild Link. <laughs> So, uh, modded rivals of Eva is, is fucking hilarious. I oh. love modded rivals of Eva. Number two, I think, is 3D, isn't it? They're going 3D. Yeah, now. yeah, they are, yeah. Oh, the they can't commu- use sprites. The mod community is going to be mad for that, though. Yeah, they got to work harder for their mods now, sadly. Yeah. I mean, maybe they could rip 3D models, I don't know if it works for that engine, but interesting that they're doing that. 
Um, yeah, again, I'm unreliable because once again, I just mean the hell out of Rara's a review for and just enough. play different mods. So I don't know if I um, actually should take my word for that. But yeah, Smash Bros. Light games are fun. I feel like it's a pretty good concept. Um, it's a pretty good, uh, like, base structure to work on because mm. you can do a lot of, like, mechanics on it. But I mean, uh, it's kind of like Souls likes, isn't it? Yeah. If you. It's if you want to, if genre. I want to play Souls like, uh, then I'll play Dark Souls. If I want to play Smash Bros, then I'll I'll play Smash Bros. It's those genres, uh, quote unquote, are definitely a case of you can't re-beat the original for me. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, but they're taking a sweet time. Get, the Smash um, Bros uh, kept on bringing out sequels and refining what was already a fantastic basis, and so the Dark Souls. Yeah. And other games just couldn't replicate it. You couldn't, you couldn't beat the OGs. Like the original gangsters uh, kept it strong, and they still are keeping it strong, in my opinion. Hmm. Hmm. So there you go. Yeah, fair. There you go. Pale imitations. Well, not pale imitations, but definitely imitations. Okay. But no, some are fun. They've got their appeals, but yeah, I mean, Smash Bros and Dark Souls. They? They're, they're, they're one of a kind, in my opinion. Thank you, Neon, for your question. Cheers, Neon. All right, Ben, or you'd like this one. If you were a classic RPG mage, which element would you specialize in? This is also from Neon. Oh, classic RPG mage, like a black mage. Oh. You want attack magic here? Yeah? Oh, man. I would... And you know what? Like... I think it'd be cool to be a. I think it's the blue. Is it the blue one? The blue one who who takes. Um, because I'm playing like Octopath Traveler too, right? And it's not really uh, a mage, but like. Just to stop you there, Ben. Sorry. Yeah. It's got to be an element. Oh, so element. Fire, water, oh, earth, wind. okay. Element. Would you? How are you? How are you bending? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna. gonna I'm gonna go with. Uh, oh man, then I've got to go with. Hmm. Do you know what, what does the most damage? Fire, I would because it does the most damage all the time. <laughs> it looks oh pretty. man, fire always does the most the damage in old RPG <laughs> with black mages. So fire is cool. You can change its color as well. Fire is great because it's it's just so powerful and there's so many form yeah, levels man. of fire. And yellow it, fire uh, is frenzy fire. Yellow war is just piss. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say the. Uh, the fire mage always does the most damage. Like the fire magic always is like the spells that do the most. Sometimes so thunder it. though, thunder okay. does a lot of damage sometimes as well. But I'm gonna go with fire. I think I'm gonna have to go with fire. Because it does more damage, not because of how it looks. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and aesthetically, fire just looks cool as well. I was gonna say, don't be a metal hall. No. Don't be one of those. No, fire looks. Pick the elements and characters you like. Not because of a city DPS check. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Yeah, well, fire does look really pretty as well, doesn't it? So yeah. let's be real. DPS is icing on the cake. And yeah, fire yeah, fire just looks cool. Fire always looks cool. Yeah, I've got to go with fire. You. Thank you, Neon Citizen, for your Cheers, question. Neon. All right. Next, Citizen Teal to you. Neon Citizen Teal. Good, sir. Here we go, Joe. Oh. Oh, this is a question for both. Oh. I'll tell you what, we'll both answer this one because it's only one, one Icarus and Nato has only given us. Yeah. If you had to works. live po po p uh, platonically, platonically, yeah, platonically, I couldn't even say the word, with one group of characters, Ooh. three to five, one group, of, three to five from games you played, who would you choose? If you had to so make them your roommate, platonically. Your video game roommates. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh, and they got to be characters, so anyone, any fictional character Yeah, any works. fictional character works. Any fictional character. Oh, it's such a broad question that I'm struggling to answer it. From the top of my head, I would definitely pick Majima from Yakuza. Because <laughs> he would just make life more interesting. He'd know all the good clubs. He'd know all the shortcuts to get around the city too. Yeah. he... I mean, he can show me his big old manhole system. That's true. He's got a great uh, shortcut he would, system. He would make the nightlife a lot more interesting. And plus, the guy is just amazing at everything, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you give that guy something to do, he'll probably excel at it. I mean, plus, he's a business. He's He's got experience in business, too. So he can help with, like, managing all like, the bills and rent and all that shit. So uh, he would be amazing. He and pulls uh, off the only downs. 
the only downside is that you have to expect him wherever you go. Yeah. Which, uh, if you're an introvert, it might be a problem. But I like Majima, so I'm, I'm cool with it. That's okay, fine. Majima's one. Yeah. Majima's one. Uh... Let's say free. Let's say free, so we cut the question down All for right. both of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, okay, big, big free for us. Then let's think here. Uh, oh man, I'm thinking of cool characters, but these cool characters won't be fantastic. I know, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's the issue. You gotta think of people who'd be good yeah. roommates. If you can think of one, then then feel free to. Oh, we could go while back and forward. We could go back and forward. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. It saves time. I I think a good roommate. Uh, you've played Sea of Stars, haven't you? Yes, I Gal have. Gal would be a great roommate because he's a chef oh, and he'd be able it. to cook and yeah, like he would make though. good meals and you want you want if you're gonna live with someone you want someone who can do good meals like yeah you want a chef you do want to live with a chef in my brother and my uh brother and wife's experience they have a chef that lived with them and they had a great meal so i think a cook gal would be one or or ignis ignis from ff15 would be a great roommate as well that's it. Yeah, man. You you want you want a chef. You want a chef. Yeah. So one of those two, I'll probably go. Mm, Ignis's food looks better, so I'm gonna go with Ignis. Ignis for his food and a chef. Yeah, that. Oh, so you've got two chefs. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you're gonna turn your place into a restaurant at this point. <laughs> no, I'll go. I'll go with one. I'll say Ignis, not Gar. I'll go with Ignis. Ignis are my first one. Go on, your second Fair one. Enough, Who's but... your second one? I'm still thinking of my second one, damn it. This is a hard question. I went all in with Majima, and now I can't think of anyone else. Oh, Majima is, al on. is already three roommates in, in one, let's be real here. <laughs> come on, you can think of another uh, character. I would uh, like to have as a roommate. I would also like... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I can't think of like a of a woman character just for the sake of variety. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bayonet would be a nightmare. Um, I mean, like realistically, it's your choices, right? It, you don't have to like legit. Like it's your choices on justification, but yeah, it, it is my choice. Therefore, I got to justify. It. I want to live well as well as be <laughs> in a room with cool characters. That's important. Yeah, that's true. It's true. It's true. All right, let's let's be a bit broader. Let's think outside and. Uh, of uh, video game characters. Yeah, you can go. Uh, I mean, it's it says uh, from games you play. Oh, it does only say from games you play. Doesn't it say. Oh, does it? Fuck. Shit. Yeah, from games you play. It doesn't say anything games. above that. You know what? That's fair. That's fine. That that, that um narrows it down. That's all right. It's fine. Um. Hmm. All right. You know what? Just just because just for the sake of being an adopted door, and also recency, Maya would be cool. Because uh, she's a cute patootie, and uh, I like her a lot. My Maya and from Maya Fey from Phoenix. Oh right? my! Oh Maya Fey. Right? Oh yeah, yeah Maya Fey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. She'd be great, roommate. She'll know all the good burger joints. And she's if we're lucky, definitely and maybe good... we can convince her to cook burgers for us too. That'd be awesome. Mm, that will be a good um, one. She's very yeah. yeah. Plus, she would line up the place too, just by being there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, she's a cute patootie. Um, Aww, yeah. I, I, I don't know how Majima would handle her, to be honest. Oh, God, yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have to Add think of mates. it into... You don't, yeah, you don't have to think... <laughs> they They probably would be mates. Like, it would be probably quite... It would be quite... Yeah, I reckon she would be a bit weirded out for... But, no, she's quite wacky herself, so... Actually, no, they probably would be mates. A, there might be two peas in a board, then. Who knows? Uh... I would go with my second pick. If you're gonna go with a woman, I will go with. Uh. Mmm. I was gonna say Estelle from Trials, but then I was like, she's kind of lazy. Oh, uh, but she works hard, so actually, Sorry, yeah. I forgot about this. I, I will go with uh, 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 Estella from uh, Trials because she she's uh, she she works hard if you tell her to. Like, so she would be a if good you tell her to. yeah. Well, like she would be a good roommate in the sense of like, oh, if you give her a task, she would probably do them, sort of thing. So okay, she's a doormat. 
a little bit. She, she's got a good character growth. So I'd say, yeah, maybe a little bit in the start. In the early days she was, yeah. Okay, I'll go with that. Okay, go on. Your, your, third, your third and final character. Trying to think of a character who can teleport. I mean, Magma can basically teleport. Magma can teleport. He can basically teleport, right? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I think of, like, a, a Butler-esque character or something like that. I can't think of what you want. Uh, I would uh, have... Uh, I don't want to be too vanilla. It's just like, oh, do I want Nathan Drake or, like, uh, Lara Croft as my, as my character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonic would be great for going to shops, but he'd be fucking insufferable too. Oh, so definitely yeah. not Sonic the Hedgehog. Tough one, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I would go for. All right, let's 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 not go down here because I'm wasting time just thinking about this. This is a hard question, damn it. All right, uh, oh, screw it. I go SMT Mothman because Mothman is awesome. <laughs> He'd be a quiet one, right? Like, yeah. he'd be that, like, roommate in the center that's just, like, not doing anything. He'd just be staring at you. Yeah, but he can prove my Mothman conspiracy is correct. He'll <laughs> be like, uh, what the fuck's a Mothman? I'm like, well, come to mine and you can find out. He'll <laughs> oh. be right there waiting to welcome you. Oh, you can get money for him as well. Come see Mothman. Yeah, if, well, if you bar with him, you can. Yeah. That's scary too, because if someone comes to my house and negotiates with Mothman, they could potentially take him away from me. That's true. That's true. That's not cool. Gaming logic. Damn, maybe not so good then. <laughs> but, but if they fail, Mothman will call them a waste of life Aww. and a piece of flesh. Because he's quite, <laughs> he's quite vicious in SMT5. Quite harsh. So there you go. Oh man. Mothman for memes. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh man. <laughs> Mo most well thought of from me. There you go, Icarus. I... All the effort was put into Mothman, as you can tell. Um, right. Okay. All right. There's another one for both of us. Uh, if you could invent a new drink, what would it be and be called? Oh, this I didn't say my, my third divination. one. Sorry, I didn't say my third one, did I? Yeah, but this is one for both of oh, us. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. If you could invent a new drink, what would it be yes. called? This one is on True Divination. Oh, a new drink. Uh, a new drink. I would like to do something off of the... If we were going to invent a drink, I'd like it to be on brand with our brand. So. I'd like lime in it because I like lime. So I want lime to be mixed up somehow. Oh, lime's good. You know pineapple works as well. I like pineapple. Pineapple's good too. Yeah, pineapple's you get... Pineapple's as well. Yeah. Does it necessarily have to be a cocktail? It doesn't have to be. Could it maybe be like I don't know, like like noodles with caffeine in it, like the actual game of noodles? Oh god, no! Oh god, no! <laughs> that sounds terrible. That's real, by the way. Oh what? Oh what? The no! What? Yeah. What? No! Game of noodles. They got caffeine in it. Game Apparently, it's quite nice. Game. Yeah. Game of noodles. Oh god! Are you searching it up? Yeah. Oh no! What? Yeah. That sounds. Game of noodles. That's... For keeping the average gamer up late at night oh, so they can keep on gaming. Christ. Oh, Japan, why? <laughs> oh, Japan. <laughs> oh, Japan, why? Game of noodles. <laughs> Alright, drink. A drink. Uh... A drink. Oh, that's a hard one. I think that's I'll a call hard it. One. I think Considering I'll... our profession. I would call it a. Uh... The, the one shot. The one shot. Because it's named after one shot plays. Yeah, the one shot. <laughs> so lazy. Plays I hate that. Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, plays. Let's we'll think about this. The plays. Right, so, the plays. Let's think. No, that sounds bad. That sounds like an award sounds... show. It sounds like a really terrible gang member name. Oh, man. Um. Okay, so I want lime, you want pineapple. Well, that's easy. You mix them together. Lime, pineapple, orange, strawberry, uh, with uh, peach naps. It's basically an upgrade sex on the beach. Uh, we'll call it orgy on the beach because it's all the fruits. Oh. Bam. There's your drink. Orgy on the beach. An upgraded version of sex on the beach, eh? Yeah. Oh, that, there you oh, go. A, a step good... up from sex on the beach. <laughs> we want more than one ingredient. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hey, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That could be, could be quite good. That's could, my answer. Yeah. Orgy on the beach. <laughs> Very well, full out drink, as you can tell. 
I would like, I would like a drink. I don't know what you would have to do to make it. I think it'd be food coloring mostly, or cor or or oh. Corio blue, cor Corossa blue, cor Angostura bitters. Angostura bitters, yeah. Um, I would like a drink that represents our channel, and what I mean, like it looks like the channel, like you've got the the blue and the the red kind of like vibe to it, like a bit of like a slush puppy, but. An alcoholic. What's kind. that drink that we had during the V3 finale? Oh, I can't remember. Purple Rain. Purple Rain, yeah. That had ingredients in it that I thought would be really cool for like a one shot please specific drink. Um, We'd have to look but, back at all the ingredients. Oh, we haven't had a Purple Rain ages. Yeah, it's been a long time. We should bring that back. Yeah. Really nice drink. A lovely it's a drink. lot of ingredients, yeah, but yeah, I think yeah. I've still got I've got I've still got blue curacao. Yeah, you need blue curacao for it. You can check in my barrel. I see think what I, I need got. to remember how to make it though. It's been a while. Do I have to remember. That's all right. Okay. It's like those are online menus. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah, my drink would definitely be Orge on the Beach True. No, I don't really know what I'd call it though. But like With justified ingredients. A twisted version of like maybe. Or maybe I'll name it after this podcast and call it the the the, twist, the drunken taverner. The, oh, the twisted taverner sounds really good, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, would you like a twisted channel? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> you're talking about a drink, right? <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Oh, but yeah, I'd yeah, like, like the I'd like blue coral. Maybe some like strawberry or stuff. And um, some bits of uh, I think I think I think I think maybe a gin, maybe like a maybe a strawberry gin or something. That'd be quite nice. Yeah. That's tasty. Yeah, I yeah. think it could work. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. Try and well, get that go, blue ben. and red kind Sorted. of vibe going. You know? There you go, Ben. You got your drink. Nice. Twisted that answers tabernacle. your question well, true. All right. Here we go. If you want, if you want to uh, help us market and manage it, then uh, feel free to spread <laughs> the word. <laughs> Here we since go. You're, since you are technically one of the progen progenitors of these drinks. Yeah, you are, technically. Might get royalties. All right, here we go. Annie Melly, 2024, the year of the dragon. Which sign of the cho Chinese zodiac is your favorite? And are you happy with the one you got? Feel free to Google that. I need to check mine. I think I am. Uh, <laughs> Wait, we're just gonna do a quick Google. <laughs> no, you're just Chinese. Give us a second. Chinese zodiac. Uh, is it 2020? Does it change every year? I believe so. All right. If you type in the this year is you're born, then you're 2024 not. is the year of the wood dragon. Uh. By the way. If you type in, oh no, it's yeah, the wood dragon. Yeah, if you type in your year, you'll find out when. Uh, what? Oh, cool. I'm rooster. Oh, I'm a. Uh, Oh, I'm I'm a sheep slash goat. Oh, you got the horns. Mm, how do I know if I'm more goat or sheep? <laughs> My partner will be really happy that I'm a rooster. Oh, because she's got a very um, unhealthy obsession with chickens. I think I'm more of a goat. Generally, so she'll really, she'll really enjoy that I'm a rooster as a result. Do you do you think these are my um uh per, per, go, very sociable, lively? Yeah. Yeah. Inquisitive, yeah, animals. That's my uh, thing. Oh, definitely animals. <laughs> that, that's what the thing is. That's what my Chinese zodiac <laughs> is about. Me. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean mine to, is, uh, to look at that. Yeah, go on. What's yours? Mine is uh, flamboyant and color personality, hmm. and is meticulous in all that he does. Oh, that's straight up you, though. <laughs> oh shit! Pretty accurate then. There <laughs> oh, you go. Oh shit! Yeah. I mean, if it's accurate, I can't complain. What can I say? Yeah, you definitely fit some of those yeah. categories. Again, we don't exactly. pigeonhole ourselves, but yeah, some. Sometimes these uh, things do hit hard sometimes. Plus also once again my partner will be really happy with my one because she's got <laughs> an unhealthy obsession with chickens. So <laughs> see the male counterpart of a chicken, yeah, oh, she'll, nice. she'll like that a lot. She'll think that's very poetic. Oh yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh so yeah, yeah you happy with, with what you got? I'm happy yeah. I'm alright with what that's I got. Fine. I'm a goat, I guess. Mm. Or slash sheep. I'm a goat sheep. Uh but right, I won't, I yeah, we don't soon. Yeah, yeah okay, so let's go to Cork. Cork. Yo, Cork. Adding your going? magnets to my fridge made the beer taste better. Thanks, one shot plays. Oh, 
this is a question. What? Do, oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the merchandise. You can grab that merchandise uh, from uh, the links down below if you want to grab a fridge magnet or keychain. Um, what did? Oh, this is a question. What did Drunk Joe do that casual Ben to laugh so hard at his drunken antics? What? That caused Ben to laugh so hard at his drunk. Oh antics. yeah, what did Drunk Joe do that caused Ben to laugh? At? Oh, okay. Uh, in the advert. In the advert, or do you mean in actual real life? Oh, I think he means like a situation. Like. Oh, okay. I need to match my fridge made the beer taste better. Thanks, Mantra, please. Is this me saying that? Yeah. Drunk Joe saying that. Yeah. Uh, adding your magnets to my fridge made the beer taste better. Thanks, Montreal, please. <laughs> I can't imagine me saying that to myself. <laughs> or to you. <laughs> okay. Because I'm also Montreal, please, so maybe uh, it doesn't mean that. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it just means like a situation where what did you do that's drunk and that's causing me to laugh? Oh, okay. Oh, so okay. maybe I'm giving... What do I do? What do I do that makes you laugh when I'm drunk, Ben? Uh, I think I like it. I think it's funny when you get really passionate sometimes and it's over like the dumbest <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like when you're drunk, it amplifies it so much that it's hard not to oh, laugh. Shit. Like you know, you take oh. it to eleven sometimes. Like where you like, like <laughs> is that not with all people? I, I don't know. Sometimes it can be really funny is how passionate we get when we're really drunk. So like the, the littlest thing. Yeah. It's like when I when I I mean, what I get really anal about in games is when you, there's a pool, like a swimming pool in a game. And I'm like, where the fuck is the lifeguard? Oh, yeah, that's funny. Well, Every yeah. pool needs a designated lifeguard. The There's no lifeguard here. Oh, my God. In Pokemon Scarlet in Spain, that was such a trigger. It was unreal. Yeah. I do remember going on a big drunken rant about yeah, that. Yeah, you did. That you did. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the <laughs> lifeguard? So it's a shadow pool as I well. Think... If someone dive bombs like a moron, they're going to get a spinal and paralyzed for life with no one there to save them properly. Oh, dude, I, I still think one of my fu the funniest moments ever was when we were both really drunk and you were so cocksure of yourself about the water. Oh, in the end, no, in, the, in another episode. Yeah, in another episode. Yeah, oh no, my right. god, I that, that I cracked up so hard when it was when it was actually oh, yeah. like lightning. That wasn't my proudest moment. That was so funny. Like that's what I mean. When you get really passionate about something that's yeah. over the dumbest shit, it's hilarious. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, thank you, Cork. That 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 was uh, my answer to that. Yeah. Just me being passionate over stupid <laughs> shit. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, last but most certainly not least, uh, I may have to speed read through this because I. Oh got my god, it's Gideon! Yeah, it's Gideon. Uh, Sir Gideon's got. Yeah, here we go. Am I right to read both yours and mine? Yeah, go for okay? it. Yeah, go for it. Cheers, man. No worries. So a well furnished office comes into. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> to view as Sir Gideon off the. The all-knowing sits in his Victorian parlor chair next to a fireplace, performing two large televisions, both displaying Ben and Joe, so Gideon's the mastermind here. Oh, oh nice. shit, who would have thought? In their respective locations. Besides the sorcerers, a game board and multiple pieces strewn across it. Single D20 die lies next to the board. Hello, viewers what? across the internet. <laughs> it would appear as though things are developing quite quickly with Ben and Joe. <laughs> as, as we both confront our challenges, uh, said Gideon. Shortly afterwards, Gideon pulls out a wooden box with a single open at the top. As oh things stand, God, however, the popularity no. of this Q&A session has drawn the attention of the demigods, <laughs> aka high management. Oh no, the corpos are onto us. Oh God. As the only intermediary between uh, our respective realms, it's fallen on to me to present their questions to the host for one shot, please. Okay, Gideon, shoot my man. I'll be picking two random questions from any of the demigods and presenting it to Ben and Joe for them to answer in whatever they, they want. Taking out his hand, dropping into the box. The sorcerer pulled out the follow piece of paper for Ben. For Ben from Rodan. Oh my god. Gideon, as he got a reading spectacle. Oh shit. Okay. He is. okay. As a warrior of the Golden Order, all that I seek in life is the joy of battling an equally strong opponent on the battlefield. Ben, I've heard from Gilbert that you are well versed in both anime and games. It's Gideon, not Gilbert, you absolute pedic. <laughs> Please name for me five mighty warriors that will provide me a challenge through the next Radar Festival. Oh, you got to choose characters oh, to shit. fight in Radar okay, Festival. Okay, okay, I've got this, I've got this. I think easily one of the most broken characters, Sora, would, oh, Sora would absolutely be a real force to reckon with because you unlock his heart and heal the scar rot on his <laughs> own penis 
He's, he's so OP. Come on, Sora. Friendship powers are so Sora, Sora is so broken. Cloud would be also okay. a freaking force to be reckoned with that Buster Sword. Yeah, uh, Spring X Brigade. I think... Oh, let me see, let me see. Uh, we could go with... Oh my god, Kiryu. Would be absolute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a really hilarious matchup. Especially after picking Sora and Cloud of all people. <laughs> Mr. RPG, a uh, big little sparkle with parkour effects and magic aligning. And then just a guy. And yet it would work in your cruiser. You can't deny just it. Just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> in a That's suit. So good. Mate, those heat moves, though, they're not just a guy. <laughs> you can't deny. They I want to see Kiri fire a darn wolf and Sora and Cloud, <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> they're not just a guy, though. Like, you can't deny. Oh, those so heat moves are insane. Yeah, he'd find a way. Yeah, he'd find a way. He would. Like, he'd probably do one on <laughs> oh, the little donkey thing he rides. One. Yeah. <laughs> what else you got, man? Oh, let's see. Uh, I think. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Let's see. Hmm. Oh man, I'm struggling to find another one that would be a really good matchup. Just oh, pick oh. A, pick a guy, any guy. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I think. Oh, Dante would be a good one as well. Yeah. That'd be really cool. I'd love to see yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be yeah. a real spectacle of a fight. Yeah, that'd be a pretty good fight as well. Yeah. Sort of trick, sort of sick, got trick. Yeah, sort of like, one. Oh, and also, uh, well, okay, okay, I'm gonna go with not, it's not one, it's kind of a cheat, but okay. the wonderful 101, like, characters. Oh. I mean, that would be a good one as well, them doing those big powers, like, and fists and stuff. Giant food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. I, I think cool. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, your warriors. Cheers, 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 good. Gideon. Nice. Uh, as for Joe, this piece of parchment is soaked in slime for some reason. <laughs> Weird implications. Of course, it had to be from Rykar, Lord of Blasphemy. Oh, that wrong one. Ah, uh, yes, this would be a tough on the vocals. Very well. You Joe. You Joe. It's a fucking Sorry. So cool. Oh. With the camera. This vocal will struggle to emulate Rykard. Uh, Rykard's statement below is a line from Tanifor from Joe, an expense paid from a volcano man. I completely through utilities. Ooh, what kind of I mean, that's a fair bargain, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that will be it for the questions. Oh, so Joe, you got to oh, answer wait, the, question. the question. The question is, will oh, sure. you join the oh, Serpent well, King join. family? You get, uh, you get, uh, does Tanef have all, donuts? So basically, you get an all expense paid room at the Volcano Manor, complete with food utilities. Would you join? Yes. Because fighting dudes for their armor is fun, but I would not go down Rykard's room because that place is horrifying, and I know what the implications are. You get to be with little go down with there. Gamer Girl, Snake Gamer Girl. Yeah, I do. You get a yeah, 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 yeah. So, absolutely. So you can absolutely we can both join and kill people with her. We can both play Baldur's Gate 3 together. <laughs> I'm sure she'd love it. That'd be awesome. Oh. I would do my job, but not complete my job if it means I get to stay at the Volcano Manor. Plus, it's nice and warm as well. So, very, you know, yeah, very cozy. Free heating. Yeah. I will say, it did look pretty cozy in the uh, Elden Ring, so... Mm -hmm. Not the paper heating? No, no, no heating, bills. Mm-hmm. Because it's, all, like, it's, uh, all, it's all, exp it all the expense paid room as well. You don't have to pay for anything. Yeah. Makes sense. We're putting our lives on the line for this job. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. I, I dig it. See what it's like. Sweet. I bet that has Why implications not? for the next question. I can give... Um, oh, what's his name? I can give... Um, oh, what's his fucking name again? Diados. I can give Diados a slap around the head as well. Oh, yeah. Diados, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not it. Oh, yeah. No, he redeemed himself in the end, but he was all right. Oh, bit, yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that that'll be it for the questions. I thank Ben and Joe for their respective answers. As for the demigods who are viewing this video, know your questions will be presented to Ben and Joe in a future Q&A session. <laughs> oh, yes. We look forward to that oh, one. Oh, nice. Gideon turns his attention to the back of his two televisions. All right, we've got a stinger here. One screen, both Ben and Dot of him. Here we go. I stand before a well-furnished cell. 
It still has a room fit for a king of one side being furnished with an extensive series of bookcases and a widescreen TV, while the other side is an entire kitchen and dining table. A king size bed lies in the middle of it. Oh, saucy. And it lies a bored looking blonde haired boy wearing a white tunic and blue trousers. Mm. Does this sound familiar to you, Ben? Mm. His pointed ears giving away his elven lineage. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, mm. The other, Gene, uh, my man, is exchanging blows of vanilla ice because I'm in a weird uh, JoJo parody <laughs> right now. Yeah. Uh, delivers devastating blows. I rip the earth around it. I'm repeatedly dodging everything I can because I'm a filthy dex build. I'm ignoring the deep cuts that are carved into him by my <laughs> vampiric enemy. I don't think keeping me from bleeding out are green herbs that I'm able to uh, apply myself and other genes. I'm like, full power. The God Hand! God Hand! For a brief amount of time. I'm going to combat a female figure is watching recording the entire fight. Yo, voyeurs, excuse me, I didn't ask for that. Heavy suitcase lies next to a worn label, heavy armor, handle with care. All right, we got an uh, action girl with a big weapon. Looking forward to it. As Sergei looks at his two scenes, he wonders, should I get some red wine or white wine? <laughs> Ooh, treat yourself. Get some red wine. Oh, yeah. That's fancier. Red wine is definitely the fancier kind for uh, Sergei. A man of wealth and taste like you, Gideon, needs to drink some red wine. Some Looking nice. forward to the next question. Yeah. Mate. <laughs> oh, that's always a joy. Right. That is going to be it. So i got to get some grub. I'm starving. I'm Thank absolutely you very much, everyone. hungry as well. I would, yeah. yeah, let's chow yeah. Down. We'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you want to ask us questions, you can if you join the Patreon, which is linked down below. Uh, down and become one of our Dionysus supporters and get the questions Cheers. in. Take care, everyone. Thank you guys very much for keeping the channel alive. Love you loads. See you later. Bye-bye.